Joining us now is one of the doctors who helped develop the Johnson & Johnson vaccine from New York's Beth Israel, Dr. Dan Baruch. Thanks for your time. Thanks very much. It's a pleasure to be here. First of all, congratulations on the promising results today. Let's dive right into the numbers. Help us understand the efficacy here in the United States. You saw 100% prevention in deaths, we should note, and 72% uh, effectiveness overall. What do you say to people who might be comparing that number to the 95% effectiveness of Pfizer or Moderna's vaccine? Well, we're in a different pandemic now. So the complexity of the pandemic is very different today than it was three or four months ago. For example, right now, we have a wide range of viral variants that are more contagious and partially resistant to antibodies now compared with several months ago. And so you did note that uh, overseas, those rates dropped even further, especially in South Africa, where the efficacy dropped to 57 percent. Does that give you concern that perhaps the South African strain, which we're now seeing here in the United States, might have some resistance to these vaccines? Absolutely. The Resistant variants, such as the ones that have originated in Brazil and South Africa, will likely be less susceptible to vaccines than the original strain. But the good news is that uh, the vaccine re results reported today show uh, very high efficacy against severe disease. There was 85% efficacy against severe disease all throughout the world, in the U.S., in Brazil and Latin America, as well as in South Africa. So even though the prevention of mild disease is uh, lower, then the prevention of severe disease, hospitalizations, and death is outstanding. Uh, we'll put that in the good news category. Um, the U.S. government has contracted 100 million doses, I think $1.5 billion. How does that affect supply as people are out there searching for the vaccine? And will people be given a choice between which vaccine they're going to get? Well, right now, we're, we're in a state of vaccine scarcity. As of today, there's simply not enough doses of vaccine to vaccinate the U.S. population and certainly not the world. So another large pharmaceutical company to deliver vaccine to the population here in our country and throughout the world is uh, very promising. And Dr. Baruch, we know that your vaccine, the Johnson & Johnson vaccine, is a single dose shot and it doesn't require the super cold refrigeration that we've heard about. Where might this vaccine best be deployed and are there populations uh, of people that will benefit from that option. Uh, yes, this vaccine has been developed as a single shot vaccine that does not require sub-zero freezing. So we feel that those parameters will facilitate the rapid and extensive rollout of this vaccine, both in our country and abroad. And so there's a, uh, we know that in many ways in the United States, people might be shopping around and asking, will they have an option between which type of vaccine they can get? I think the way the U.S. government rolls out the vaccines is not completely clear yet, but at least initially, it's likely that people won't, will not have a choice of vaccines uh, because there's simply not enough vaccines to go around. Uh, as the supply expands, perhaps later in this calendar year, then people might have more of an option. And what would you say to those who might be resistant and think, well, you know, I'll wait around for a Pfizer or a Moderna rather than take the Johnson & Johnson that might be available? Well, right now, all of these vaccines appear to be safe and highly effective. And so right now, the most important thing is for people to get vaccinated. Uh, I think it's less important uh, about the, uh, the, the different pros and cons amongst the different vaccines. Right now, we're in a situation where we need to protect lives. We need to vaccinate the population of our country and the world as quickly as possible. As a researcher, what was that like to get the data in that confirmed that the work that you have been no out uh, tirelessly at hour after hour, day after day. Um, what was that like knowing, learning finally that it was a success? It's an amazing feeling and it's an incredible privilege to be able to develop or help develop a vaccine that we hope will help uh, control and ultimately eliminate this pandemic. Because we do know that some manufacturers had to drop out of the vaccine race. We're so grateful for your time. We're grateful for your work, Dr. Baruch. Thank you. Thank you very much. 
Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.